We were talking a little bit about Spider-Man. It's kind of odd, you know. You guys probably didn't get this far in the stream because it was lagging. It is a bit concerning because as soon as I started talking about this game is when the stream was having issues. So it's a bit spooky uh, that that happened. So I don't know, maybe we'll just set this aside today, uh, seeing as how this is the second time uh, today that this game has been brought up and linked to issues. But maybe we'll maybe it'll be the last game we do, right? The other two we have, uh, I'll talk about this one first. So this is the Godfall Deluxe Edition, uh, kind of launch day edition. Super nice, comes with some extra gear. Um, and it's a very, very highly um, anticipated game. I haven't got the chance to play it yet. Hopefully, uh, if you're watching the stream, it means you probably haven't got a PS5 and you want to check it out and see what it's all about. This game was kind of rated to be either really bad uh, or really good but it has, it's optimized for the PlayStation 5. So uh, it does require a PlayStation Plus subscription, which um, we've been trying all morning to subscribe to, and their servers have been so overloaded that we've been unable to subscribe, both on the console and on the web. So we're gonna try that again once we get things set up. Uh, I assume there is some gameplay um, that is available without right uh the the subscription but i doubt uh it's fully featured without the subscription so kind of a bummer if you're out there and you've experienced that issue um you know we experience it on every game launch it's a gearbox game too so i'm a huge fan of borderlands massive fan of borderlands been playing it uh for many years i uh, bought borderlands 3 at the launch uh, on launch day pre-downloaded it played it so i know the style of gameplay is gonna be up my alley 100%. Technically it is a hack and slash, but it's more of a uh, hack and, what do they call it? Hack and loot uh, style game. The Demon Souls for PlayStation 5. So Demon Souls, Demon Souls. <laughs> Demon Souls is a hack and loot. Uh, and all of these are gonna be high resolution HDR capabilities. And like I said, we've got a great uh, OLED to put that on today. So we're gonna test those out. So we have two to three consoles. What's the, what's the other title that we're gonna be checking out? It's pre-downloaded on the- Astro's Playroom. So we're gonna check out Astro's Playroom. It has some features, what, for the controller? It really highlights <clears throat> and accentuates the features of the controller and shows and demonstrates its mm -hmm. capabilities. Yeah, so they want people to know what this is all about, the dual sense controller. So we'll probably do a quick little setup on Astro's Playroom, uh, just so you guys can check that out. Why don't I hand this to you though? I'd like you to experience this and get familiar with the controller uh, right when this starts out. Give her a whirl. Give her a whirl. So this is interesting. It's like got a full gyroscope in it. So it wants me to flick up. Okay, that's pretty cool. I mean, it looks nice. Let me, don't get me wrong. Um, I'm excited to play some of the big titles because this is all like, this. the color is very nice. And look at the like the detail on the yeah, black. Obviously everyone can't see what we're seeing if you're using just a standard screen, but uh, I mean, we can definitely tell, you know, I can definitely tell it's upgraded. I would not get, this is like better than playing on just a standard gaming monitor. And what they can't really see, something interesting here is just even the textures on the ground. It's just so fine, man. That's incredible. So as you're like walking on the, on the grade right there, it just, it feel, the surfaces just feel really different, really unique. Like you can feel it in the controller. Definitely, yeah. yeah. The vibrations. Do you think? Do you think that's gonna bug most people though? Like, do you think that's gonna be an issue uh, that you're gonna you're you're not gonna want that after a while? I think we start with Godfall, and here's why: because it's one of the most highest anticipated games that's out there right now. Uh, like, so many people are because it's a launch uh, exclusive for PS five and four are you looking at me oh no, sideways no, man. Listening. Listening. <laughs> no no i know you're listening you were like looking at me like <laughs> what are you what are you saying man <laughs> like what are you, is it going on? What, what you talking about Willis? what you talking about Willis? um it's a launch day kind of exclusive it's available on pc too but it is not available on xbox mm. yeah, and either is demon souls um or spider-man for that matter right 
Or maybe no, Spider Man is available. Spider Man's exclusive, I, I thought. No, I think Spider Man's available on all platforms. Oh. So correct me if I'm wrong, you guys. Uh, oh, oh yeah, you got it. Probably should put the disc. Got to in. insert the disc, dude. What are you yelling at me? You guys can see this, man. Look at Godfall. Wow. Here's the bummer. What? Please ensure you are not using a local or guest account. Oh, we're on a guest account. Go to your account. Oh, oh! Oh, no! Oh, no, look away! Here, hold on a second, look hold away. on a second, hold on a second, no! I mean, these graphics are phenomenal. I will say, I think we're not, we may or may not be getting the full HDR capability, but nonetheless, this is, this is like watching a TV series right now. This is phenomenal. Like the anti-aliasing needs to be a little bit better, probably, and that could be setting some things that I, I can change. You know, you're just, what you're really seeing is the sharpness is really high, but the pixel density seems a little bit low. So maybe it's, um, it's struggling a bit. Yeah, so this is very much, you know, very hack and slash style, but hack and loot. Um, not a bad deal. I do like it. It, it very good graphics. I mean, phenomenal graphics in my opinion. What do you think, Derek? Oh, it looks great. Are you sure? Yeah, I just smashed half a pizza, so <laughs> I'm feeling great now. Oh man, as soon as it's so hear... loud, everyone can hear that. That is intense. It's not even doing like the 3D audio right now. It's like just stereo, but it sounds really good. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> you can hear the PS5 kick up a little bit here because uh, there's there's a lot of reflections going on. You see that screen space reflections there. Uh, the uh, capability of uh, ray tracing. See the reflections in the water here as you move forward? like the light, the way that it, it traces the light and it follows your movement. So you're getting actual shadows and, and reflections right off that water. It looks super nice, doing a very good job. This is actually, this takes the cake for graphics. See the rock, how it's like very, I don't know, you see the movement on the inside of the window as it pans, it actually adjusts and changes the view. And that's not normally something we see in, in console games. Like that type of detail is not always found. I wanna check the settings. Display, performance, cinematic, performance, cinematic. Oh. So you got a couple different here. So on screen, 27 inch HDR as far as monitors go. It's on HDR, the screen just flicked to HDR at the top. HDR is automatic and adjust. So all games and apps will, uh, apps in use will be closed. Do you want to continue? Yes. Bit of a bummer because one of the things that I was really, really going for was the fact that we would see supported resolutions of 1440p. And this could be a, essentially a launch day deal where it's just not supporting 1440p but I do want to check HDR um, and just kind of test it out on the games that we're playing. It may not look as good as far as like resolution, but because it's a smaller screen, I don't really think 4K is going to be as big of a deal. On a 55 inch TV, I think it makes a bigger difference. Okay, here it is. So performance does give us the ability to do 60 frames per second. Well, let's test that out. I can say the graphics on this really aren't that great because it's not really in a fidelity based game it, it would be more geared towards like higher frames faster rate of gameplay i mean it's cool frame rates are great it's not like glitching all over the place Ooh, press x to web zip I'll give you a second here and you can put these on, man, but this is kind of what I'm thinking. I think on the TV it looked better. I think the gameplay is super smooth. Like I actually see here some very smooth gameplay and I'd be excited to try 
Call of Duty on this because you got some good screen, uh, or you got some good reflections. I don't know if they're actually utilizing, maybe they are utilizing ray tracing here, but you can see the buildings and buildings behind the buildings and the sunset and all that other stuff. So it looks really good. Um, and I'm not seeing any issues other than it's just, there's no texture detail. There's no, the HDR doesn't seem to be good. Maybe it's the TV or maybe it's the monitor. Um, maybe it's the game. I'll catch you and Derek will catch you in the next video. Peace. Yeah, so yeah, it was a good stream. I like it. Very good. It was good, man. Yeah. I, oh, I almost a little, Definitely a little let down by uh, Spider Man a little bit. Yeah, a little let down. I, know. Yeah. I, I agree with that. Big old yeah. big name like.